Good evening, welcome to In The City Live, welcome to Cardiff City Stadium. Leeds United, this evening's guests, and a team that have already ended one run against Cardiff this year. A 32-year unbeaten streak against Cardiff City came to an end back in November in the reverse fixture. This evening, they're looking to end another run. Nine matches in Cardiff without a win against the Bluebirds, and also Cardiff's 13 match unbeaten home record, or home run rather, this season, dating all the way back to that 2-0 defeat against Hallier earlier in the season, and it's uh, so you know it's been a really good run, punctuated of course by that fine battling performance on, uh, on the weekend away at Bristol City, a performance that's put us on the cusp of the playoff places we've been talking about it for months at Cardiff, have been keeping themselves in touch with the playoff places, well they're very nearly there now, and they really are in the battle for the, at least that sixth spot, possibly that fifth spot as well, depending on the stuttering form elsewhere. However, Derby and uh, several other teams have picked up of late. Like I said, Leeds United, a team themselves that have picked up. They had a precious win on the weekend, 2-1 against a battling Bolton side who are really, you know, scrapping for every point they can get where they fight for against relegation. And the good news is, for Cardiff, there is a returnee in the squad this evening. We know we've lost one player to injury from the weekend. Lee Peltier unfortunately succumbed at half time which brought about that change at centre half with Sean Morrison making his return. Sean Morrison isn't the change in the starting 11 this evening though. The change is Fabio De Silva who makes a surprise or somewhat surprising return to the first team this evening. He comes in at right back meaning that Matthew Conley remains at centre half and that's just one of the questions that we posed to Russell Slade in our uh, usual pre-match chat with him. And uh, you're going to see that in a couple of minutes' time. First, though, if you stick around, what you're going to see is some exclusive team news. Um, I've probably just bought it for you. There's the one change this evening, but you're going to see the rundown of the Cardiff team that are going to line up here against Leeds tonight. Then you will see our quick chat with Russell Slade. And if you stick around a little bit later, we'll have a look at the Leeds team and how they might line up. Injuries for them. Expected reshuffle for them as well, with the game starting to mount up now, midweek and, and weekend fixtures as we come down to really the business end of the season. And, uh, and as ever, if you stick around a little bit longer, you're going to be able to see some exclusive pictures here from Cardiff City Stadium with the players warming up. And at about 25 uh, to 8 this evening, a live commentary with myself and Richard Shepherd. Finally, put those two wins back to back on on Saturday. I imagine there's a great deal of confidence about the dressing room at the moment. Yeah, um, it's, it's a fine line, isn't it? You want a confident dressing room. You don't want any complacency um, creeping in. Um, we want to continue our momentum going forward. Um, pick pretty much the same side, just the one change with um, Fabio coming in for Peltier, who was out from. Uh, his injury in the last game against uh, Bristol City. So, you know, great replacement, Fab, he's, he's, he's managed to make it um, in time for tonight's game. So, um, we're all systems go and um, we're looking forward to it. Another challenge again, we know they'll come play with big energy. We have to match that all over the pitch and uh, ensure that our greater quality and our greater movement in the final third will cause them enough problems. And I imagine you were delighted with a very different kind of Cardiff performance to what we've seen of late in the second half of Bristol. Really had to dig in, defended uh, defended doggedly and had a good shape about it. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did defend well. Um, I think you look, at, you look back at it and probably, uh, well, for sure, we allowed too many crosses to come in and, um, you know, we defended our box really well. We had to. Um, I think our decisions... In terms of when we did pick the ball up, um, whether where to play, when to play, how to play, um, we, we sometimes got wrong. Uh, we made mistakes, but what we did do is we reacted, we recovered, got in positions, and, and we're difficult to break down. And, and, and that's an important quality as well to have that resilience. Um, and then that allowed us, you know, to to hit them on the counter and, and get the second goal on Saturday. Um, but no, we want to take care of the ball a little bit better than what we did in the second half at Bristol. And another positive, that ruthlessness was back that we've seen in recent weeks, particularly in the first half here against Brighton. Yeah, no, it was, and and that's what you want to see when that ball, you know, falls invitingly in the box. You you want to see somebody finishing, if not finishing, certainly it's in the target. And um, 
you know we've done that with greater regularity recently and um, you know it's, it's, it's a good sign um, we do look like we're creating chances and, and more importantly as you say we were uh, putting them away you said a difficult test uh, tonight against a Leeds team who've been up and down of late, but off the back of a win themselves on the weekend, and that's a bit of a monkey off their back as well. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, um, it's a up and down form that they've had. So, you know, that, that, that's the thing. It's so difficult to establish consistency in, in the championship, and that's what they're trying to do themselves. They want to build on their win that they got at home at the weekend. Um, after a disappointing away result last time on the road. So, you know, we still want to make it difficult for them. They're back on the road again and we want to send them down. The, with, no, with all due respect, we want to send them down the motorway. I want it to be a horrible journey back home for them north and, and no points from coming to our stadium. That's how it has to be. And people always talk going into a championship season how competitive it's going to be and the important thing is keeping yourself in touch with the playoffs come March. That's exactly what we've done, and we're more than in touch now. We're within swiping distance after a good run, run of form recently. Yeah, look, we can't control what others are doing around us. We, we haven't we haven't focused on that at all. Um, we we just work really really hard, as you say, to to try and stay in touch and to keep picking up points and grinding points out when we have to. Just like Saturday, sometimes it comes in a in a really uh, classy way and nice way, as it was against Brighton. Sometimes it might come in an ugly way or a nasty way. It doesn't matter. The, what the, what does matter now is that we are picking up points. We keep adding to our tally, um, so we've got enough come, you know, um, the sixth of May. Um, to ensure that our season is going to be prolonged by at least another month. Thank you very much. All the best tonight.